Alright, so what's the difference between a hooker and a lady lawyer? Huh? One. 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 Make it fit right now. I'm asking, there. what's the difference? <laughs> I'm gonna play cards. My ass. I'm gonna kill Julia. Oh, yeah. Make it famous. It's interesting no, enough. Bobby, what do you say? Pull up a chair. Yeah, yeah man. Make yourself home. You don't lose the address, huh? <laughs> Alright, how come women wear makeup and uh, perfume? Why? Because they're ugly and they stink. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, are we going to play you or are we going to... Yes, to you, you're bad. Oh, yeah. I'm, uh... Okay, new game. Annie up a nickel, uh, we'll do a little seven card for you ladies. Hey, Kevin, you know that uh, that girl I've been seeing on the side? Which one? Which girl have you seen Tina. on the side? Come on. Yeah, yeah, Tina. Yeah, Tina. All right. So last week I go by her place, right? And uh, we're supposed to hook up. So I'm looking for her, and she's nowhere to be found in the house, right? And I run into this other girl. It turns out she's got a sister. She's got a younger sister. And her name is Rose. And so I'm talking to her. Rose big tits from Santa Barbara? Yeah, I did her. Uh, she's got big tits, not from Santa Barbara, different girl. <laughs> Back to me. So, anyway, I'm sitting there talking. Turns out Tina is working late. She's not going to be home for, you know, probably until the next day. So, we get to talking, have a few drinks, you know how it goes. And before you know it, I'm in bed with her. So I'm doing her sister. I'm going to town, and all of a sudden, the bedroom door opens. I look over my bare ass, and there is Tina. Standing in the doorway. Just standing there, saying nothing. So what'd you say? Shut the door. <laughs> you're not I said, 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 I said, shut the door. Oh, you're right. I gotta finish gotta, business and I'll get to you later. I gotta go. Joe take the bet with the pair of fours. All right, I'm in for a nickel. All right. Pair of bookers. Hey, Steve, how's Emily doing? <laughs> what? Ooh. How's your wife, Emily? Yeah, I know she's my wife. Fun. What are you doing? No, Steve, I'm just... Were you, you judging me? Steve, no, man. I'm just asking. No, Steve. don't, Steve. Were you judging me? Whoa. We're playing cards. Another point five on four. Whatever works. In the game or what? I'm in, I'm in. She looks beautiful. Listen, throw them out. Okay, you your names, doesn't matter. I don't care who they are, throw them out. Make it in the club, don't go for it. Just throw them out, I don't want to hear it. Go ahead, go, do it. So what's eating you there, Gilbert Craig? <laughs> Kid, what's up? What's going on? I'm a father. You were what? I have a seven pound, three ounce little girl. A baby? Where'd you get a baby? Melissa. You, your ex-girlfriend, the one that cheated on you? No, no, she didn't cheat on me. I made that up. I was ashamed. She found a guy two months after we broke up. She was two months pregnant and I had no idea. I got a call when she went into labor saying that she wanted me in the delivery room. I don't know how I got there, but I did. Next thing I know, I'm in the room with me, Melissa, and Rick. Rick. The man I wanted to kill seven months ago. And Melissa's there and her legs are spread wide open. <laughs> I don't even know where I should look. <laughs> I mean, it was so... So I look over at Rick and he's... He looks at me and he says, I'm glad you're here, brother. And then I look at Melissa and she's in pain. She's screaming. And there's blood, and there's mess, and, and then the head starts coming out. And then they, they put the baby in my hand.
And for the first time since I was a kid, I, I started praying. I prayed to God that this little girl would forgive me. I looked into her eye and I swear to God, she looked right into my soul. And I, I promised her that from this day forward, I would never disrespect another woman again. I mean, how did we get here? How did we get to this point that we were at tonight? Where we talk so much shit about women, about our mothers, about our daughters. I'm friends with Emily. So are you. So is everybody at that table. And we encourage Steve to cheat on her. What? What is that? I don't understand it. Bobby, Bobby, listen to me. It's 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 all a game. I mean, men play. That all they want to do with women is to get laid. And women play it that all men think about is getting laid. It's cat and mouse, cat and mouse. It's very sad. You think I give a rat's ass about what happens down in my club downstairs? With all the sex and all the nonsense. But I'm too old to change anything. That's where the world is. You, on the other hand, you got a shot, kid. Listen, the truth is, this baby of yours came out into the world now. It's here. You can't just up and put it back. Do you think I can do this? You and this little girl, and you want to know something? If I don't see you up here anymore, I'll understand. I'll miss you, but I'll be proud of you. Speaking of bitches, anybody here from Bobby the Wet Nurse? <laughs> yeah, I heard somebody told me uh, they saw him at Walgreens buying a rectal thermometer. <laughs> yeah. I heard it's not so bad because her husband and her said he could sleep at the foot of her bed. <laughs> oh, Bobby is such a bitch yeah. that when he hears a baby cry, yeah. he lactates. <laughs> hey! There'll be no trash talking Bobby at this table. Understood? Hey, babe. I'm on my way. No, oh, Emily's out of town. Yeah. No, it's gonna be... Wait, wait what, what, hold on a second. Hi, Steven. Do I have your attention now? I know all about her, you dirty, sneaky, immoral, poorly endowed slime ball. Everything's caught on tape. You're soon to be ex-wife, Emily. Uh... I'll call you back. <laughs>